What's up everyone? We finally made it on the road. It is 10.36. Um, Jesse? Hello. James. I'm Jesse driving. James. Obviously he's driving. Yeah, I have my eyes on the road. I have my phone. We're heading to Tampa. Gonna go spend the day at the beach. It took us a little while to get going, but it is, like I said, 10.36. And we're on I-4 heading to Tampa. I think it's called Upham State Park. Specifically, we're going to St. Pete Beach, but yes, and uh, Upham Beach Park or something like that, yeah. It's always got to be politically correct. Well, because it's St. Pete, we're going to St. Pete Beach. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we're going to a beach, and hopefully it's really nice. It's really a nice day. Hardly any clouds in the sky. We usually go to beaches in South Florida. So, like Jupiter, we don't usually go to the West Coast. We went to the West Coast, the Gulf Coast. I'll be doing the driving from here on out. It's just today I didn't feel like driving. Um, but yeah, it, the two hand. Hey, it's better than, you know, no hands. We were sitting behind a truck for about five minutes. But you know what I was going on? Oh my God. Speed. It's okay, whatever. Safe speed. We're all going, oh we're all going about the same speed right now, so it's okay. It's you, guys will, you guys will enjoy this. I'm sure a lot of you will laugh. But all right, guys, we'll keep you updated. Okay, so we're about to get on I-275 to Tampa, and this is what we run into, traffic. It is 11.23. Look to the right, there's Ybor City. Uh-huh. That's where we saw who? Otep. Otep. Yes. I don't remember the name of the bar that we went, but it was it was a nice little uh, nice little bar, and it wasn't overcrowded. And I got to meet Otep that night, so it was wonderful. It was a good night. So we finally ended I four. If you don't know, I four ends here in Tampa, and it turns into two seventy five. You either go north or south. We're going south, and it looks like everybody's going south. So it's gonna be a wonderful time. <laughs> I'm thinking everybody's going to the beach today. Good stuff. Oh, police next to us. Undercover cop car. I'll be driving like a maniac. I'm not even gonna lie. There's so much water. It's so cold. Because there's so much water. Well, I mean, we're landlocked in Orlando, so anytime we see this, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so uh, nice. It is very nice, but you know, the, the Earth is like seventy percent water. So yeah. I mean, you know, we live in the middle of the state, though. So <laughs> well, well, it takes an hour to get to the beach, to the East Coast. Long. That was probably the longest bridge I've been on in my life. It's so exciting. Avenue North. Oh no, there's a big truck next 
So, we finally made it. We finally parked. The parking situation was not all that ideal. Oh my gosh. But I finally got into a spot. Did you hear how I put that? He finally made it into a spot. I, I just suck at parking. Um, forward, backward, forward, backward, just to get right, but an inch at a time. But here we are, we're parked. And we're at the Yay. beach, and we're gonna get situated here, because you do have to pay to park. It's a public beach where we're parking. I'm, we're gonna figure out how to pay to park, because there's no meters. I wanna say there's an app you download. I downloaded it last night, actually. There's an app you download, and you can pay on there. And it's actually really cool, because when you open it, it shows a map of like the St. Pete area, and it will show you all the open spaces and all the spaces that are occupied. But did he open that up to find a spot? No. He Dude. drove around for a little while to find a spot. And Dude. when we found a spot, oh my god, another one opened up. Look, let's get that spot. Hurry up, babe. Hurry up. Hurry up. But we're parked. And so now we're going to get situated and then we'll see you over there. Okay? Over there. Over there. Yeah. Beach. Water is super nice. The colors? Colors are beautiful. What do you think? Um, not as nice as the East Coast. Uh, over here on the West Coast, it's more of like an algae green, but it is clear, which is a plus. On the East Coast side, you normally have blue water. It's not too chilly, but what I like is that I can see my feet. It's really pretty colors. And then look, there's the breakaway with the rocks. And I don't even see little things swimming. I'm good. Hello. Hello. It's very nice. It, I'm not a big fan of getting into the ocean, mainly because I don't like not seeing the bottoms of my feet. Like I, I wanna know where my feet are and when I'm about to step in. This is nice. I can see everything. It's just crystal clear, like as far as I can see. Everywhere, it's just clear water. There's somebody parasailing over there too. Yeah. That, that looks like fun. There is a guy that is on a unicycle. Not a unicycle, what is it called? I have no idea. It's like a skateboard, but it's one wheel. It's like motorized. If anybody knows the name of that, just let me know, because I would like to know. I think it would be fun. I would not be able to do it, but I'd like to try. I'm afraid to dunk myself in the water, but... Oh, there's fish. Yeah. Is that fish? Oh, fish? oh, there's fish. Oh my god. There's fish. Fish. Oh my god, there's fish. Okay. Go. Go. Not the three or I'm not doing it. One, two, three. Oh my god. Go, go, okay. go, go! I went in the water. I did. I'm proud of myself. It's been a long time since I've tasted salt water. So he's making us go out further. I'm a little afraid. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's go. I love the ocean. I do. I love it. Being in it is a different story. Oh Who my god. He loves the view of it instead I, of I do. <laughs> yeah. It is very it's very peaceful. It's like you're in a whole nother world. And everybody's spaced out enough. I'm not sure if it's like a COVID thing or if like people genuinely just are always spread out at this beach. But I'm used to Daytona Beach and Cocoa Beach where everybody is just like- On top of each other? Yeah, right on top of each other. And it's just not, not fun. I will say there's a lot of boats. There's a jet ski that keeps going back and forth. There's a pontoon boat right over here behind me. That would be fun. Just go out and float on the pontoon boat. That parasail is really high. I'm, I'm feeling for him. I'm scared for him. This is pretty relaxing. There's no waves, there's no nothing. It's just nice and calm. On the way in where we parked, they had public bathrooms, so that was cool. Um, 
Oh, that was like a concession stand. Yeah, they have like a snack shack on the way in, like right there on the, the boardwalk where you walk in. So that was pretty cool. Um, have no idea what they have. We didn't look. We just were focused on the beach and I the water at this burgers, point. You know, chicken fingers, french fries, stuff like that. Yeah. So as we leave and on the way back, uh, I think we're probably going to stop at either White Castle because we have not done that yet. Or it's going to be, what is it? Pardellos? Pardellos? It's like a hot dog hamburger. It's from Chicago. Yeah, but apparently they have really good hot dogs. So that's what I'm aiming for because I haven't had a really good hot dog in a long time. Nathan's is number one in my book. But uh, we're going to go ahead and give the sh Chicago hot dog style a try. Um, let you know how that is. He's vegan, so um, no oh. hot dog on his end. Not all the way vegan, but like close enough. <laughs> Like, right there on the edge. I saw that they had, like, vegan stuff, vegetarian vegan stuff, but we'll see. I know that White Castle does, so it may come down to, like, him getting... Cordillos? Yeah, and me getting White Castle. There's the parasailer. He's making me nervous. He's getting so high. <laughs> He's all the way over there. Don't worry about him. So, I just heard this little girl say that, um, look, Mommy, there's a fish. There's a big fish. And all you hear is, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. I I want to get out. <laughs> like, I'm ready to get out. At least I can see it coming, but I, I really don't want it to um, touch fish. my leg. I know it's just a fish. It's not going to hurt you. But what eats fish? Uh, bigger Shark? fish? Sharks eat fish. Now he's wanting us to go further. <laughs> not looking forward to it. I'm already chest high. So this is this is a world record for me. I just want everybody to know. So this this is making me a little nervous. Okay, so we just left. We're going well we're going home, but on the way home we're going to get food. So that's something new that we'll do today as well. As far as the West Coast goes, it was nice. Uh, algae green water is clear. Like you said, the sand was really nice. It wasn't hot on the feet. You pretty much could have laid on the sand. But the water was nice. Uh, the next trip that we take to a beach will probably be on the East Coast. It'll probably be Loggerhead Beach. Probably do an overnight thing if we do it. Um, because I want to spend as much time at the beach as I possibly can. Two hours is not enough. I love the beach. I grew up around the beach. Um, Florida boy through yeah. and through. At first, I was kind of surprised because it didn't really have like a, like a beachy town kind of vibe to it but i think it's just the way that google brought us in because as we're leaving i'm seeing like surf shops over here the ice cream shop over here stuff like that that's like that's like beach town to me look at this there's like a little um st p st p beach yeah it's like a mural but like all back up in there down that street we just passed i think it was like a downtown area kind of remind me of coco beach village a little bit where they have like the one main strip so we're done in St. Pete. When we come back, I'm hoping that we'll go to where Trade Winds is. I would like to stay overnight in this area because it's very, it is very nice. We're on our way home. Um, on the way, we're gonna do what is it called? <laughs> Bordellos? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. stop. We're gonna get into Orlando, and we go to Orlando. It's off of Sand Lake, which is uh, what is it? White Castle and Bordellos, yeah. which is a uh, Chicago hot dog. That'll be next. So we'll see you in about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, just to give you a little heads up, we finally made it to Portillo's, not Portillo's as he was saying. Um, I did say it, I was saying it wrong, I admit it. Uh, we made it, we ordered our food. We're just waiting on that right now, as you can see behind me. They're putting it all together as we speak. As they're calling for their food, they're rhyming. This lady, I don't know if they always do it, but this lady's rhyming. 117 smells like heaven. Uh -huh. So we'll see what we are, because we're order number 130. This is our spread. Um, you don't have your gravy bread out, but it's basically just gravy bread. I got a veggie. It's a veggie dog, but it's literally just the toppings on a bun. But I'm okay with it. And then we got two fries. That's a Polish dog. Yes. Polish sausage. And then chili cheese dog. Well, I give, I give um, 
this one a try and then I'll try the other one. No. <laughs> good. That's a hell of a good chili cheese doll. <laughs> what? Right. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. <laughs> that means he loves it. <laughs> this can be our new spot. The bullet sausage. Fire. Yeah. This is good. The chili cheese dog is good. But that one's, the Polish one's a lot better. Oh my gosh, it looks better. The only thing that's making me nervous is these. Because I've never had these They're before. just peppers. I know, but... They're just like small peppers. Just take All a bite. Right. Well, here we go. It's got like, I see it's got onions, and it's got mustard on it, and tomatoes, and a pickle, pickle. spear. So, okay, and two peppers go. on the top. Yeah. All I right. don't know what kind of peppers those are, but. Well, we're about to find out. Tell me, tell me. Oh my God. Watch me now. Wow. How's everything looking? Everything looking good? Wow. Let me know if I can grab you off. I know it's like super simple. But like to me it's just really, really good. So at least I have something to eat when we come here. Thank you guys for watching our first video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, share it, subscribe to our channel. Please comment. Let us know what you thought. If there's anything we can do different or anything you want to see, just let us know and we will do our best and we want to make you guys happy. So please enjoy our channel. Thank you.